Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be installing Photoshop CC for Linux version 2021. So let's get started. Now, a couple of months back, I actually did a video similar to this where I installed Photoshop CC, uh, which is version 2018 onto Linux. Now, recently I got a new laptop and I was trying to do the same method back into the laptop and realized that it wasn't working anymore due to the installer not being able to download. And that has to do with some certificate error or some stuff like that, which is not something I can look into, but ultimately the project on that side has not been updated for at least eight months. So I don't, I'm not gonna hold my breath to see if he's gonna have a fix for it or not. So I ended up searching for a new project that actually will install Photoshop CC 2021, which is a way newer version onto our Linux desktops and that's what we're gonna be installing today. I'm gonna be walking you through the whole process and getting it up and running on your Linux desktop. First off, we have this project from CS Marcus. Now I am gonna leave a link to both his repositories because we need two repositories for this, but this is the first one. You're gonna notice that this is gonna be a different name from the second project. I'll show you what I mean. Let's just grab this first. In my terminal, I made a folder called projects just to keep it clean. So we're gonna do git clone and paste that in, grab that. And in that folder with the capital P, this makes a difference, you're gonna notice only two files in here, US, uh, English US, which is something we really need because initially when you install it, it's actually gonna be in Spanish. And we don't really have to worry about the image file, but we just need this en underscore US. Now, the next thing we need to download, if you scroll down his project a little, he has another project right here. And you're gonna see CS Marcus with the number one at the end. This one is the installer project itself. And it takes, it's like about 600 megabytes to download. So depending on your internet connection and somehow today my internet's running super slow or GitLab is running super slow where it's only making me download 1.6 megabytes. It's gonna take me a while. So keep in mind, 600 megabytes. Once you're done downloading everything, you're gonna see two folders in here. One is Photoshop with the capital P and one is a lowercase p. And the one that we need is the lowercase p with the installer. So we're gonna jump into Photoshop in here. And the first thing you need to do is actually just type make. I already made it. That's how come you see this file right here. But according to the instructions, it's the same. You have to do the make just to create, the, it's a C++ file. Now, once you're done with that, we are gonna run Photoshop 2020. It's gonna have a couple of things over here. You could check if your system is uh, meets the minimum requirements. If you hit one, it would be like, okay, you do have. This shows up on both my installations that I've done on my laptop. It doesn't bother me that it, it has that segment fault, but I'm gonna leave that running. And I am gonna install Photoshop, so I'm gonna hit number two. From here on, if you have a Ubuntu or Ubuntu based distro, just hit yes. Let that run, it's gonna download everything it needs to keep everything running. All right, next we have where you want the Photoshop to be installed. Now it tells you, realize it does not end with a slash. So I'm gonna do home slash done. That's it, it's gonna install into my home folder. It's gonna create a sub file folder called Photoshop CC. So it doesn't really reside in the home slash done. It actually creates a new folder called Photoshop CC and it runs everything in there. This process takes about 20 or so minutes. Uh, you do have to agree and click on everything. And I'm gonna fast forward this part uh, all the way up to the part where we need to do some configurations. So give this a second, just keep going next through everything. Okay, now that we're done installing everything it needs like fonts and everything, uh, we do need to configure something here. Now, if you do have a higher display, like a 4K or something like that, you might wanna go into the graphics and change out your screen resolution to like 210 DPI or 196 DPI. But if you got a 1080 screen like I do, we could just leave that. But the most important part is you have to change Windows 7 to Windows 10 over here. Hit okay. Once that closes out, it might ask, I think one more question over here. All right, there we go. Took like two minutes. It actually got me a little nervous. Uh, for here, I'm just gonna do all because it's gonna change everything to a dark setting. And install complete. It's gonna start up the program. Again, it's gonna be in Spanish. Give it a second.
And there we have it. Now that we have everything up and running, uh, let's switch this over to English, but we can't do that now. So we have to transfer some files over first. I'm gonna close out of this. This is gonna exit out, which is fine. I don't need this anymore. All we need is a file browser. Go to downloads, head over to project, Photoshop with a capital P, because that's where I have everything. Right click on the en underscore us and we're gonna copy that. Go to the home folder, go to Photoshop CC, then Photoshop dash CC in here. Locals, and you see right here, we just need to paste that folder. Now we can restart the program again. So I'm just gonna go in here and do Photoshop. Okay, uh, we are gonna go into edit, uh, preferences, general or control K if you want. Pop over to interface. And then in here it has Espanol. You just do English, hit okay. Close out of this one more time. And then restart the program. And there we have it, it's English right now. You see how it says artwork? for more details and legal notices, blah, 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 blah. This is now all in English for Photoshop. Here we go, you see that? So let's, let's, okay. So let's try to start up a new project. So I'm gonna do create new. Uh, yeah, create. And there we go. We have our little interfaces. All right, for some odd reason, I am able to draw here, everything works fine. I didn't have a problem playing around with certain things, but when it came to the area where I had to save, it nothing pops up. So I had to see what was going on. I didn't figure out what the problem was, but this doesn't happen to my laptop. So I don't think it's an installer issue, but I would probably create an issue for it. But more so maybe, my Linux version on here is missing something compared to what my laptop has because my laptop is running 21.10 versus this is running 21.04. Now, how do you overcome this or circumvent this problem? What we need to do is actually export this, export the layers to files, okay? So before you even draw anything, this is the first thing you should do, just export the layers to drive uh, files. Uh, I'm gonna save it into my documents, okay? And in here, I'm gonna hit OK, save it as a PST file, run. You need a document with multiple layers to export. Oh, you know why? I don't have multiple layers. So what I'm gonna do is make a box. There you go. Resaturize that, okay. Export layers to files. Go into my documents again. Save over here, untitled one, okay. Bam, bam, bam. All right, export it, fine. So I'm not gonna need that right now, but what I am gonna do is go into my documents and open up the, not the rectangular, the background. So now that I opened it this way, I am actually able to save it using the regular save over here. So if I was to edit this and let's do a red, and kind of draw into this area. Draw, 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 draw. And then go to File and hit Save. Close out of this again. And now if I was to reopen that same file, it's gonna have my edits in there. So it's a little weird and it's a little cumbersome to get it done this way. Um, I haven't figured out what's wrong with it or what I'm missing. You might not even have this issue if you install it onto your desktop. So I would say give it a try first because I didn't have it on my laptop with this issue. But yeah, I'm able to go in and, you know, just save whatever I need to save. Yeah, so your mileage may vary. Uh, I'm not able to get it to work perfectly on my desktop right now because of this little issue. I might look into it a little bit more. Uh, it does work perfectly on my laptop. I'm able to save projects and all, but yeah, this is an issue on my, on, I think the actual operating system 21.04. I don't know. 
I might be missing a module or something like that. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you guys want to try it, I'll leave all the links down in the description below. Um, again, if you have any questions or problems or issues that you need to repair, go into his GitHub and start an issue board. And we'll force the creator to kind of look into it uh, and see if there was something that I missed that will get this working perfectly for all platforms. Otherwise, and that is it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.